All right, so you want to know how to add symbols to your watch list in the Trade Zero mobile application, and also how to place some orders. We're going to take a look at how to do just that. So on my watch list, you already see that I have some symbols here that are pre-filled, but we can quickly add a few by either clicking this top right magnifying glass or right here at the bottom center magnifying glass. Let's go for the bottom center. So from here, we can type in our ticker name. If we type in F, it should bring up Ford Motor Company. In case we're unsure of what the symbol name is, we can type in the company name. So I'll just spell out Ford and it'll bring us up Ford Motor Company. So we can quickly add this to our watch list by tapping on the star here, or we can tap on the symbol name itself, which brings up the chart and all other details. And we can tap on the star here at the top right corner. Either way is fine. So let's back out of this. Now we can see Ford Motor Company, symbol name F, right here at the very bottom. If we wanted to remove a symbol from our watch list, we can swipe right. And that brings up the delete icon. So we can tap it. And then if we wanted to quickly trade a symbol from our watch list, we can just swipe left, tap trade, and it'll bring us to our order ticket. So off the bat, you can see a few things here. You'll notice your last price in the top left corner and also percent gain and loss and also the percent change in price for the ticket symbol. You'll also notice your bid and ask on the very top right corner and right in the middle panel, you'll notice your buy, short and also locate sections. We're gonna focus on buy today. So for my route, I'm on SIM. I'm running this from a demo account. If you're trading from your live account, you may see something that says smart. For the order type, the default is market, but we can tap and change it to limit, stop market, stop limit, or range. I'm gonna choose limit. So now we see the bid and the ask appears right below the order type. And we can quick tap either the ask or the bid and the limit price itself would adjust to whatever the ask is, whatever the bid is. So we're gonna leave it on bid. Now let's adjust our quantity. We can press the plus symbol to increase the number of shares that we want to purchase, or we can decrease. Time and force is set at day, and we'll notice go till crossing and go till cancel time and forces are available. We're gonna leave it on day. From here, we're gonna select buy. And now our order confirmation window populates. This is gonna give you all the details of the trade. At the very bottom, you'll notice the skip order confirmation toggle button here. If we toggle it on, this will skip and bypass this step here. It won't show you the details of the trade. But if we keep it off, it'll always populate this order confirmation window before executing the trade. So we'll hit confirm. And now we have the order placed. So under my orders, we can see that we have a new order that's pending for 12 spot 91. We can cancel this order from here directly or we can go into our orders tab and we can cancel from the active section of the order tab right here on the top right. So clicking that X, we see that the cancellation was sent. So now back into our watch list, let's type in a new symbol. This time, let's type in Bank of America. We're gonna do the ticket name. Let's add it to our watch list. Let's back out. We see Bank of America right at the very bottom. You can swipe right to quick trade, or we can tap on it. And we can make our purchase, our sell, or we can find locates for the symbol in this section. So let's tap on buy. Again, we have the details of the symbol right at the very top. And we also have our order criteria here in the middle section. So let's purchase that market and see how that reflects in our portfolio window. We're tapping buy. Looking at our order confirmation window, everything looks good. We're gonna hit confirm. And now let's go to the portfolio. So in our portfolio window, we now see we have our position here. So I had 20 shares of Bank of America earlier, and then I just added to the position. So now we see our shares and our average price there available to us, and also our profit and loss for the position. At the top, you'll also notice your account details here. So things like your equity, your day unrealized, your day realized, buying power, exposure, available cash,
day total and change percentage. Few other menu options that are available to you. You can see prices here. And this will show you the change in percentage of price for the position. And then we have locates. If you have any locates in your inventory to short a position, they'll appear here. So now let's go and close this position out. Head on over to positions. We can close it out directly from here. We can go to sell and let's increase our quantity to 40, which is what we have in a portfolio window. And then we can sell. Order confirmation populates. Everything looks good. Hit confirm. And now we see that the order was placed. So let's go back to our portfolio. So our position has been effectively closed out and we can confirm that by going over to orders. Go to all and we can see all of the orders that we created for the day. This will include any cancels, rejections, filled orders, etc. Right at the very top, you'll see Bank of America, which was filled at market for 40 shares.